I just love the random idle animations in this game. Like, you know, it's just just a nice little touch. Crash playing with a yo-yo. Why not? It just seems like something he would do in his spare time when nothing's really going on. All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Warped. Crash is tangled up in his yo-yo. Today, we're about to take on the Boneyard. Our first two gem level. However, we cannot get both gems in one go. It's kind of disappointing. Whatever, let's go ahead and do it. We have to stop Uka Uka and Cortex. Uka Uka and Cortex want tiny get crystals and bring them to Big Colosseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for tiny, or Crash get crushed! Seriously, what the hell happened, like, in the, what, days between the events of Crash 2 and this game? for Tiny to become evil. Because in Crash 2, he was helping out Brio. Like, he was just supposed to get the crystals from you so that you wouldn't give them to Cortex so that he could power up the Cortex Vortex. But now he's working for Cortex and Uka Uka. Unless they tricked him into thinking like, oh, Crash wants to destroy the planet with the crystals himself. So he must get them for us. All right, anyway, this is a prehistoric level and one little gimmick for he... Uh, uh, one little gimmick for these levels is a common gimmick for every Crash game. The chase! Yeah, we're being chased by a Triceratops. Not the most uh, threatening dinosaur to chase us, but hey. Alright, and yeah, he's afraid of heights for the moment. Yeah. So pretty much you just gotta jump over that. Thankfully there are no pits. There are pterodactyls though. If you jump into them, they will grab you and take you to no man's land. I assume. I don't know, maybe they just take you to their nest so that they can eat you. I don't know, were, were pterodactyls carnivores? I really don't know. I'm not too big on my uh, dinosaur knowledge. But whatever. At our checkpoint, and we got a mask, got TNT, the first TNT of the game, oh man. Okay. So now we got these little straightaway areas. Oh, and one more thing about Crash 3, there are way more uh, depth animations, like just more, you know, creative. And yet we need the red gem, sadly we do not have the red gem just yet. I mean, it's, it's just a nice little touch, like, you know, Crash touches an enemy on here, and it might be a special death animation as opposed to him just falling over. Yeah, Nitro. Still don't want to touch Nitro, we can spin this grass for because we're cool like that. Why are these assistants here? I don't know, and the screen sort of flashed for some strange reason. Alright, this bonus level looks like it means business. Still looks simple enough, though. 14 boxes, we can... We can do it. Alright. Grabbing the Wampas. And go up here. Lives, always good to have. Yeah, you can really rack up the lives on this game. It's not that... It's not that hard, though. It's not that hard to gain. I will more than likely be needing them for some of the final levels, though. Like I said, the difficulty really does pick up. They're just nicer about it than the previous Crash games. The Crash games prior, they, they would just throw the difficulty in your face, like, yeah, alright, whatever, we hate you. This game, you know, they're, they're, they're cool about it. They're like, you know what, we're, we're just gonna give you a few easy things first, just to get you acclimated, and we'll slowly build up to the insane shit. And that's why I appreciate this game. They're not total jerks about the difficulty. Anyway, we got some more running from an angry Triceratops. Seriously, why is he just so mad? Why are you mad, Triceratops? Is it because you suck as a dinosaur? Seriously, nobody likes Triceratops. They were the lamest dinosaurs around. They were just wannabe uh, T Rexes and you know, Raptors. Okay, we hit that. We got the gym. And. Yeah, we're done with this level. 
kind of a close call there at the end. He almost got me, but eh, I was able to get past just fine, just fine. Damn, these are short videos. All right, no time to dance, for it is Coco's time to shine. Making waves. A new level concept. So, yep, we're on a jet ski. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't seem to be one of the open-ended ones. Well, of course it isn't. It's the first one. These jet ski levels get pretty ridiculous. So, yeah, just enjoy the easy ones while you can. You want to watch out for bombs. You want to hit these. You know, bust off some smooth moves. And that, that's pretty much it. This one is fairly linear. They're just getting you used to these. Alright. Oh, she can only do rolls. She can't do backflips and stuff. Man. And there I go, missing that one, trying to be all fancy. Okay. Thankfully, they have an arrow pointing you in the right direction, because you actually can get a bit lost in these. Woo! That was close. I'm just going to tell you right now, backtracking in these levels to a box you miss is always kind of annoying. I do generally like these jet ski levels, with one exception. We'll get to it when we get to it. Yeah, you got to watch out if those birds actually can hurt you if they land on the box. Alright, alright, okay, and we got the crystal. Alright, pretty much almost done with this here level. We got that bomb right there in front of the ramp. Okay, come on. I'm just gonna blaze through the rest of this. Did I hit that checkpoint? Okay, yes I did. Paranoia, already setting in. I'm only on the fifth level. Okay. Only six more to go. Okay. Those bombs, they are actually in little tricky places right in this little area. Still not anything too difficult, though. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, this one you want to be going full speed and holding forward, if I recall. Crap! Okay, alright, I'm gonna have to line myself up for this one, and let me just get a long straightaway. Okay... Crap! Why am I having trouble hitting this one? Maybe I'm not supposed to be holding? Am I supposed to be... Oh, okay, I'm supposed to be holding back, because that gives me a little more hang time. Alright, alright, alright. Yay, the first true challenge of the LP! Getting this one lone crate. yes! And she busts us, uh, busts out a backflip for that. We hold back. Okay. Damn it. Here we go. Yeah, you don't want to miss the gym. That has actually happened to me a few times, especially on some of the later ones that are a bit longer and a bit harder. It's like, yes, the gym pops out, but then you go past it and you screw up. And you, and you exit the level, and you have to go back and do it all again. All right, anyway, it's first boss time. Tiny the Tiger. And, yeah, we're at uh, Roman Coliseum. It's gladiator time. And one thing I will say, oh well, first things first. Crash! Coco! Store the pretty crystals! Tiny take them back in gladiator arena! <laughs> but yeah, one thing I will say about these boss fights, uh, in general, they're harder boss fights than the previous games. That being said, like, the first 
couple, like the first two, they're not all that hard, but they're noticeably more difficult than the uh, previous games. Whatever, alright, we're fighting Tiny, so what we want to do is just avoid this while he's jumping. Just gotta avoid him, then he launches his little trident in the ground, and then he jumps back up. And now the difficult part, avoiding the lions. Oh my. You can spin them away, but it's like, it, that part always trips me up, because they come out randomly. Like, which hole they come out of is random, so there's really no safe thing. You just have to run around and be ready to spin. You have to be careful, because the hit detection is kind of wonky. But they will grab you, and they will eat you. And that's no fun. Alright, and well, looks like I beat this rather quickly. I'm not going to lie, as a kid, I could not fight these bosses to save my life. So I would just hand the controller to my brother, and he would just beat them for me. I'm like, wow. You're a great gamer. He's like, no, the bosses are just easy. But I couldn't wrap my head around that as a kid, but right, whatever. Supercharged body slam. One more powerful belly flop. Press X button to jump, and then press circle button at the top of the jump. Yes, this game has power-ups. All right. So we got that super body slam. And a cut little Well cutscene. done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. All right. So yep, that's warp room one complete aside from Boneyard, but we'll be going back to Boneyard sometime down the road. Up next, we have the... I have no clue what to call this. The Pope? The Pope era? The era of the Pope? Catholic? I don't, I don't know. Those look like some Catholic things, but... Uh, maybe maybe sort of Arabic? Indian a little, I'm guessing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. My, my, my friend who's big on like eras and time, he's probably watching this and just like, Oh my God, you are so stupid. But, all right, whatever. Let's let's just go ahead and get a quick sneak peek at these levels. We got G Wiz, Hang 'em High, Hog Ride, Tomb Time, and Midnight Run. We'll be doing all that and more next time. Well, only three of those and more next time. Actually, we won't even be doing those next time. We'll be. Uh, bleh, what will we be doing next time? We just got to wait and see. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time for some more Crash Bandicoot 3. Warp 3 is not part of the title. I just added that because I can. Goodbye.